As people here in South Florida try to flatten spiking COVID-19 statistics, medical experts say we need to also turn attention to how the virus can affect people down the road, specifically heart health. Well, everyone appropriately is focused on the acute treatment of COVID-19 and the prevention of COVID-19, which is so important. We're looking to raise the flag that, hey, all these millions of people who've had the infection and maybe some people who've had some heart damage. Dr. Raul Matrani with the University of Miami's Cardiovascular Division says while we may think of it as a respiratory disease, that's not the only consequence. We know from early studies that up to 20 to 30 percent of people who are in the hospital with COVID-19 can have some cardiac manifestation. Of course, since this pandemic is something new we're dealing with, there's a lot of research that still needs to be done. We looked at um, past uh, viral infections of the heart to see how people recover. We also looked at how the heart generally recovers from inflammation or stress. In an article he wrote for the journal Heart Rhythm, Matrani says researchers need to plan clinical trials to study patients after they leave the hospital to gain more insight. That way they may be able to intervene and prevent potentially long-term heart issues. A lot of people do get it. They have minimal to no symptoms. They seem to recover quickly. But we don't know if there's any subtle damage to the heart or lungs. And we may not know that for months or years later. Or we may never know that. So, uh, so it's incumbent on everyone to try to prevent getting the disease. For those who have been hospitalized, some signs that Dr. Matrani says to be mindful of are unusual shortness of breath, a regular heartbeat, or chest pain. He says those may not necessarily indicate a heart issue, but he says it would be worth a visit to the cardiologist. Other studies have provided evidence for lung problems and worsening kidney function from COVID-19, but whether or not these issues are permanent has yet to be determined. In the newsroom, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News.